Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our Season 5 series. So in the previous one we looked at, well we had our first look at some trains and despite some of the difficulties and problems that we experienced, our route is now fully, yeah, operational. I have quickly placed down a couple of extra little flags over here that are the one-way signal tracks just to section it up a little bit more and make sure that the trains aren't waiting for too long. Okay, so in this episode we are going to expand our train network but also going back to some of the plans that we talked about before uh, such as this one becoming a farming area, well fully farming area. Right now it's a bit of a bit of a shared space in here, we've got some industries, a bit of farming and yeah some weird access as well how we have this old bridge system here and then the new one that's a bit more direct. So hopefully we can start to fix it up a little bit. Oh, and by the way, it seems like this bridge over here is fully functional and ready as well, so hopefully we can clean it up very soon. Right, so let's take a look. So for this area to become a 100% farming area, we are going to have to take out all the industrial zone over here. So as we discussed before, we are going to use this little island over here to turn it into a production zone instead and yes it might seem like it's quite quite a small small area but I am thinking to cram this area with all sorts of production. Okay so first of all what the beavers are doing right now we have gotten quite a few columns already and we've created like a little route for them to go and block this water in here. I'm not sure I don't suppose they're gonna be able to finish but then again oh yeah there's still quite a few logs to go so but that's okay we will have this one sorted in one of the future episodes instead. What could have actually been smart if we picked a slightly... Oh yeah, if we put those dams over here, it might have been easier. Anyways, well, let's uh, take a look at what we are going to do here. So, first of all, I was thinking to add a couple of different train routes in here as well. Not sure if it's going to be the best idea to do it this way but we sure can try. So one of the train stations is going to be right over here. And with the trains overall as well, I don't think we want to have them cut through here like so. We might keep it, not entirely sure. But I was thinking, well, once they exit the Scrap City over here, I'd kind of like them to turn right from here instead. So if we face the right way, there we go. Turn right from this station and then cut straight through, I guess on the land or on the sea and not entirely sure yet. But this is the route I'd like them to take. So they would use kind of like the areas that are further away from from where we will be building. And then perhaps go, I don't know, I guess somewhere here. And around this area they will turn, go up the hill and straight to the ruins over here where they can pick up some scrap, turn around and start going back. So now this is where we can allow the train to perhaps go this way, go around and then join this route here again potentially but we'll see how it goes so our first goal is to really build up the production on this little island here so that way in one of the future episodes we can expand our farming all right so let me throw in a quick blueprint over here and then we shall take a look at it all right so there we go we do have a bit of a blueprint already in place and let's walk through what and how we want to build this so right now we have three stations over here it might be a bit of an overkill but then again, we'll never know what kind of construction builds and ideas we might have for the future. So, so yeah, let's plan for the future and have a few different different stations in here. I don't think we really need them, but I think it would be cool to have trains crossing over going in different directions as well. So I feel like the entrance will most likely be from this area. We'll have one or two tracks that run into here and then they will turn left and we will have access to these two stations over here. Okay, and then I believe the exit will or might be from somewhere here. And then, yeah, got into this track. And then we'll we'll, we'll see if, if this track will still run through here or maybe go towards the side of the map instead. Okay, and then I also thought it might be a pretty cool idea to place one above the other ones. So it's kind of like a multi-level platform over here and this one could be entering from a different direction or perhaps from the same again who knows go in from here and then yeah we'll, we'll see if it goes still up the hill or slightly different route so now all we need is just to construct everything 
Let's put the columns back into the buildings. Another thing I have noticed, the design of the columns has changed quite a bit, so they actually do look pretty, pretty cool right now. All right, so do we have enough columns? I believe we do. Okay, we could use one more pot, but 68%. Uh, okay, so that's uh, that's not bad. So another construction that we are starting to do over here is I do want to start producing columns a lot faster. So we have a couple more stations or factories that we could place over there. But right now, I think, yeah, we're producing enough power. But as soon as we place anything else in here, that's not going to be enough. So, And for that, we are going to do engines. So I believe they are going to go on these platforms. But let's just pause them for a second. Because there is something else we need to be mindful of. And that is the power. Okay, so we do have to... I was initially thinking we might pass the power through here. Okay, that's definitely an option. But now it would be also nice if it kind of goes straight down, but we cannot do that because we do want to have the side platforms here. Okay, now in the future again, depending on how big our factory becomes, I have a feeling we might want to yeah, connect you from here. I think it's a bit more future-proof in a way. All right, so let's put those metal platforms in here as well. So what we can do... If we go into the power tab and select the power shafts as well, well, there we go. So you can go there. These ones can be connected up as well. All right, pass it over. And with this one, I think we'll go into all directions. All right, and what this means now is if we wanted to do a couple more engines in the future, we could place those platforms along this way here. Yeah, and then we just need to do a few more platforms this way. Give the bots a bit of access as well and we should be fine. Alright, so some of the buildings that we are constructing here are going to need some scrap metal as well. So it will be good to check. Okay, we're not sending any from here and the train station. Oh, it's the same in here as well. So, alright, let's, uh, let's send some scrap in here. We are receiving. And I think our storage is pretty full. Oh, yes it is. And now what we can do is if we go back to Scrap City, from here, let's grab scrap. And we're not receiving, we are indeed sending it. Okay, now we should see one of those trains leave very soon. Oh yeah, I think we just had to load it up with a bit of scrap and there we go. Alright, here we go. Both of them are heading out now, so that's good. Okay, first station seems to be, well, I guess somewhat operational. They're not quite connected up yet, but it's, it's fine. It's going to take a bit of time to get this all going and yes we are gonna need a ton of beavers all the quads in here as well to man all these stations okay so yes you are building all of this up now but perhaps it is time let's have a look we've got quite a few parts i think we have yeah i think we have enough parts to start a second station another thing we could do here is build one of those control towers and that's gonna make our life, or the column's life, a bit more efficient as well. Uh, well, that's not gonna be the best location. But since we do get some resources back now... Yeah, it covers a few, but if we do more factories in here, then... Hmm, yeah, I think our first focus, or priority, is to make sure that those factories are running at all times. So why don't we place you here for the time being? Okay, yep, that might be fine. Maybe give you a slightly higher priority as well. No, you should probably be built first. Okay, after that, I think we want to build our power network here. Let's get this done as well. And the engines will probably need the highest priority. Now for the access, we'll do a simple ladder system here. Alright, these two can climb up. And I think we are changing the roads around slowly as well. So there we go. Okay, I think we are starting to receive some scrap metal now. Good. Anything else that's built? A few platforms there. All right. And there we go. Our first control tower is complete. And now I hope we have enough science. I'm pretty sure we have all the beavers working. Oh, yeah. They are definitely working, so that should be fine. How much are you taking per hour? Well, three per hour, but we are producing 
one per hour from here. I mean, if it does become a problem, we could always build one of those number crunches. Takes a ton of power, but does provide us with quite a bit of science. I mean, for the time being, I think we're okay. We just have to... Yeah, let's have a look. What is your... All right, working speed is now 90%, so that is good. It does say condition 1. Okay. I think... I'm pretty sure it was lower before. Let's have a look. You should be out of range now. Oh, yeah, the indicator is... Yeah, this one's full. All right, there we go. 90% you. Yep. And 45. All right, so that's the half. All right, so there we go. We've got the blueprint now in place and everything is fully built as well. Since the cutscene, it's actually been almost 24 hours and I will explain what has happened. Well, first of all, why don't we start from here? So yeah, what we have over here is probably not enough lumber mills just yet, but I really wanted to keep the, the ruins over here and kind of work our way around this, this area. We still have plenty of space. I was measuring out or kind of planning and I think we can do quite a few more lumber mills over here, provided we do place them in a very, very smart way. And then, uh, yeah, a couple of gear workshops as well. So, yeah, we're producing things locally and I think we can start removing some of the workshops or at least pausing them for the time being. Okay, so what's happened? Why are we recording the second section about 24 hours later? So it's the, the short answer is the trains. Now, don't get me wrong, uh, I still do love them. It's been a bit of a bit of a love love and hate relationship and for the life of me I could not figure out why one of the trains was stuck in here and one of them was stuck somewhere I think it was somewhere here okay and um, yeah so if I jump over here as you can see I've actually I tried redesigning I ripped everything out as you can see the second layer is gone and the same over here we've built new tracks as well that run all the way through here and uh, from here as well it splits into two and we have three stations here one of them which unfortunately does not work and it seems it is definitely connected up it says it's not connected but it 100 percent is i think unless i'm missing something so what i'm thinking is that they cannot be placed on each other because we also have one one below here i know it does work on the warehouses because we had one at scrap city uh, right about here and it definitely worked okay yeah we've got some rubble over here as well because everything has changed but yeah so it seems right now the good stations cannot be placed on top of each other so what i could do here pretty easily is i think we could just flip it over and build it on the opposite side yeah so we do need <laughs> let's place you yeah let's place you just like so now with the access, actually, it might be smarter. No, I don't think we're going to walk over here. So after I had placed all those new tracks in here as well, and we even changed the how we approach over here, I had a couple more problems, but I tried. Okay, so what if we throw another train on the tracks? So I had three in total, and all of them were stuck eventually. And then I ended up changing this area around a little bit as well. But when I was deleting the uh, waiting station and the one-way signal track at the same time then it kept crashing the game probably had to reload about five or six times until i realized that okay yeah it's, there's something here and the solution for that was well just had to delete them individually i suppose but yeah right now this is the old design because unfortunately it did crash again after i had redesigned this but it's fine it's fine it seems to be working now and we're very happy. So another small update or changeover that we do have in here. We have finally started producing or growing our trees in this zone as well. There's still a few spots that we have missed, I think. But uh, yeah, it seems fine. So I've quickly flipped around the good station as well, which seems to be fully functional now. So that is great indeed. And um, yeah, we're not really accepting any goods here just yet. But uh, where are our trains right now? Okay. Seems like we have another problem. So what seems to happen, of course I might be wrong as well, but every time I make modifications to the train tracks or switching over the stations, the game seems to crash. So the final resort was really just turning on the dev commands and deleting those trains. Are you going to work? Okay, so you are going to work. 
yeah i didn't want to use the dev commands but it seems there was no other way around it so what we'll do is because we do have the resources that's not a problem let's just build a another train okay here goes the second one all right and it goes through everything's fine let's add a third one as well let's see what happens okay here's another one are you gonna go to the waiting station no you are not so now we're just gonna have to wait for a few more resources and yeah why don't we just try and see how many trains can be put on on our tracks okay these guys seem to be fine now going to the station yep we are sending logs over all right so the next thing we do want to do here is we do have a ton of bots already that have nothing to do so i was thinking well since it is a scrap city and, and we are hoping to produce quite a bit in here why don't we turn this area into a independent district okay so yeah the space is mm hmm yeah we don't have a lot of space in here but let's uh figure this out as well so if our station is right over here we got train tracks that go all the way around as well so we are okay um yeah probably don't want to place the sensor itself somewhere there we could do it here but now it also depends what do we want to reach over here yeah this zone will be most likely a separate one okay so this means all of this island should be ours or if we want to go a little further over here and tidy up this zone as well then it might actually be better if we try and get our district center somewhere here instead uh yeah that might be better actually if we take a look over here how much space do we have oh no that's only two tiles there is a little bit of spare space over here so that's something we could do let's say if we placed you might not even have to build these ones here okay so there we go we do have a, a separate district now and the way we are gonna disconnect you i think it's gonna happen from somewhere here so let's cut off this whole zone oh no they still have access from underneath i think okay second try let's see this one as well okay everything is disconnected now and the beavers should be running back to the main district now what we can do i hope we can do it oh we can't place the gates hmm yeah probably should have thought about that before all right option number two if we place the road back over there i don't suppose we need this road in here so we could place the district gates over here instead okay so that seems to be fine everyone's still complaining but we shall fix this right now so there we go so let's have a look at the range real quick as well seems to be okay yeah half of this can actually go to the production district over there all right and we definitely do have to rename you as well this one is our scrap city there we go all right and with the range itself if we place some roads from here yeah we should be able to reach everything on this side as well all right so the next thing we do have to do is we are going to need some bots in here so why don't we set up a bit of automation and here we go these should be the bots right so if we set you to 15 let's see what happens so we still have 10 unemployed but i think we know what it is we have to switch it all up okay here we go these should be bots as well you are still working i think in one of the previous episodes someone left a very good tip for us and that is something i was not aware at all so if you switch the workplace priority to the lowest and what we are missing here is actually a hauling post okay so we do have to place you somewhere as well space is pretty limited why don't we take you out for the for the time being and place this one here instead okay now how many do we need here maybe three for the time being and right so still a few vacancies okay anyways yeah if you switch the workplace to the lowest and have the haulers prioritize the engines then they will keep it stocked up and the engines will run by themselves as well apparently so that's very good to know thank you so much for sharing that with us as well and okay so the trains i am a little anxious about it because we do rely on those exports actually what i did have to do is 
change it around. So right now we are exporting everything with the haulers again. And it seems our population is dropping quite a bit. And I think we know why that is as well. Because I have paused a ton of those breeding pods over here. I think we went up to almost like 180, 190. And we just didn't have enough jobs before. Okay, now let's take a look. We still have a few vacancies over here. All right, you guys can be bots as well. I think we still have a few buildings. Oh yeah, there's a ton. So I'm just going to go around the colony real quick and switch them over to bots instead. All right, so everything is now fully set up and we can move on to our next stage. Right now, I did have to delete a couple more trains because they uh, sort of, yeah, didn't work out the way we wanted them to work out. But okay, so right, this section over here. Looking at the storage and the resources we have, it seems everything's pretty much full. It's only the gears that need to be ramped up a little bit. Let's have a look at our power as well. Supplies 1600 and 1540 is what we are providing right now. I think now is probably going to be a very good time to start yeah, adding some more engines over here. We do have this really odd stack, so we might just do the same actually. Yeah, due to those train tracks, we hmm, I don't think we can place another one here, or do we? Oh no, we might be able to. Let's have a look. Grab one of those engines, you go that way. Oh yeah, that seems to work out pretty, pretty well actually. So let's do that. We'll build one over there. And now right above, this might be not a problem as well. Let's have a look. No, not the, the longest one, but we can do the shorter one. This means we are going to have to maybe place platforms over here for for access. But we shall see. Okay, let's do a few more over here. Yeah, do you know what? It's fine. Let's just do all the, all the platforms instead. And then what we need is... Let's grab those engines again. One and two. There we go. Now, yeah, with the access, I guess we are going to have to run around a little bit. Okay, I guess we could have also... Hmm, no. Or maybe if we had placed a metal one here. Wait a second, we can still do it. All right, there we go. Let's place a metal one right there. Okay, side platform. Oh, this one might be tricky. Oh, yeah. And I don't think we can... Oh, yeah. That is a bit problematic. What are the other options? I guess they could also climb up from from the side over here. So if we take this out and place the platforms like so, this could work as well. Yeah. And if we can't place you, that's fine. Can we do a smaller one? No, we cannot, unfortunately. Okay, fine. And then all we need is roads, and there we go. Don't suppose... Oh no, you should be able to build all of them. Okay, so I think we're fine over here. Right, so let's uh, leave you be. Actually, lowest workplace, highest priority. There we go. Next, what do we want to do in here? So, yeah, we were talking about the resources. So, planks we have quite a lot. Everything else. Metal, I think we need a few more storages around this place as well. Just to increase our... Well, I guess, it, yeah, it, it does increase our production in some ways. Or gives us a bit of a safety net when production does slow down all right with these engines how much are we producing now wait are you not connected you are okay now it has gone up hasn't it i think so i forgot how much we were producing before but i'm pretty sure it's connected because we got the four-way junction over there and we could even do one more engine over here if we change this around a little bit Okay, let's have a look. If we were to grab this engine. Alright, so you go there. We could climb down from here, connect it up. And I think we might be fine. The only problem we are going to have is... Let's have a look. This section here. Alright, we'll take you out. And what we are going to need. If we can move around. Okay. So now this should be fine. But it does seem to complain about the axis. Okay, we'll take you out as well. Let's have a look. All right, now it seems to be fine. Cool. 
Next thing, we shall build you here as well. Alright, get this fixed up. There we go, logs are in. And same with you as well. Alright, there we go, nearly done. So yeah, going back to the production over here. Blank seem to be fine. You are complaining about what? You're saying that you're not connected. Okay, so something weird must be happening with the good stations. For some reason, they are... Whenever we build something on top of them, they seem to be complaining that access is not possible. Well, that's very unfortunate, because it seemed like this could have been a pretty good location to put a couple more. What we could try, I suppose, is if we were to build it a little bit higher. This might be one of the options that we have. Okay, and then... If we want, we can even expand over here as well. But now, since we are going to this kind of height, we could also do another one here. And then we don't have to connect you up this way. Let's have a look. If we take the power and make you go straight up, I wonder if the power passes through from below as well. I guess it is worth trying. Let's have a look. So if we grab one of those lumber mills, let's say we place you like so for, for the time being at least. Okay, so yeah, quite a few lumber mills are now here. And our next step really is to take out the lumber mill production or the plank production from here. Currently we are still sending planks out. You are receiving... Why don't we do that this station or maybe this one? Uh, let's see, blanks, and we don't receive, we are going to send you out. Okay, let's see what happens now. So we should load you up with resources. Alright, there we go. Here's the hauling team. And if we... I guess we... Hmm. I don't want to remove the sending from here, because we do have quite a lot still in this district. What we can do, let's... Uh, Cut the production almost entirely, I want to say. But our gears... Okay, 500 is somewhere. You have... Okay, you have a ton in there, in the Scrap City. And here as well, I think our power is much better now, so we definitely can open. Okay, you don't have power. Same with you. So that's something we'll have to fix over here as well. Unfortunately, these are doors... Oh, you are going to need access as well, of course. Okay. Quick road over here, there you go. And now sending power through, okay, that's gonna be a little bit trickier, potentially. I mean, we can of course go around from here and then connect you up again. That seems to be the easiest solution, so yeah, let's do that. Okay, so since this is universal over here, I guess we can just connect you up like so. That shouldn't be a problem and we still have access around as well to come and build everything up, so I don't think anyone should get stuck over here. But then again, you'll never know. Alright, there we go. So power should be flowing through this way. And there isn't a whole lot of space in here, so... Yep, let's make it easy. You guys are fine, right? No available workers. Okay, let's put a column here instead. Or the bot. And now I think we are... Yeah, we're gonna need maybe another assembler online very soon we do have the resources so that is good yep let's uh, get you online as well and power wise we still seem to be okay as well so that's good okay next thing we do have another engine here but access seems to be the problem so let's fix you up as well door should be summoned there so road yep we should be linked up now all right wonderful now oh right we might not be able to construct these Access seems to be the problem, so... Okay, I do have an idea, though. Let's uh, first remove all of them. Okay, side platform, this one gone. And instead of connecting you from that side, let's turn you around and connect it this way instead. So that should give us the access to start constructing the other side platforms as well. Alright, there we go. Oh, wow. Well. That's, uh, yeah, quite a tricky thing we're doing here. But what's actually quite funny is this is one of the few, very few times where I actually do not plan this area at all. This is all kind of 
organic mess, I suppose, and just trying to figure out how things will work out. Okay, now having a look over here, you are not receiving power. Uh, this could also be... Let's have a look. Go down a couple levels. All right, there we go. That might be because we haven't built those power shafts just yet. Let's give you a slightly higher priority as well, and then we shall find out if we can build those lumber mills on top here instead. Okay, good. Uh, speed you up a little bit. Do want to see if this is going to work or not. All right, are we getting materials? No, we are not. There we go. Should be constructed any second now. And, okay, seems the power is going through. Oh, of course it's going through. Because if you stack them on other buildings that pass the power through, it seems I forgot that, but that's okay. All oh, right, of course. Yeah, I don't know why I forgot that. I thought maybe those vertical power shafts are special in a way, so maybe they work in a different way, but no. Everything is still the way it's supposed to be, which is good. Okay, so from here as well, access will be will be very easy. Put a road in here and we can do another couple of lumber mills here as well as soon as we do need them. Because right now I think, yeah, we still have plenty for the time being. Now when it comes to storages, I didn't want to overcrowd this area if I'm completely honest. But I have a feeling we might just have to squeeze in a few extra buildings. Yeah, okay. There we go. And both of those will hold... Let's do... Let's do logs. No, not the logs. Planks. Okay, there we go. Sorted. Now, looking at our other resources, we will be doing a lot more gears over here, right? Oh, yeah. We still have three bots that don't have anything to do. Okay. Turn into bots as well. This one here. Lowest priority. Okay, that's fine. Another resource that we are going to need a bit more are those treated planks over here. So you still have the power. So why don't we turn on a couple more. Okay, so you're receiving planks and gears. You are sending logs. Oh yeah, you're sending everything. Okay, what about these blank factories over here? I think we can pause a couple more. All right, that means we do have a ton of spare beavers. And that's okay, because we are going to use them for farming later instead. Yeah, that's going to take quite a quite a few beavers, so... Yeah, you, you guys can just chill out, I guess. Enjoy life, whilst you still can. And over here, okay. So, we have, I believe... How many trains do we have? Two or three. Three, I want to say. Don't see any of them. One seems to be stuck over here not really sure why two of them are definitely moving okay and what is your problem there's definitely flags over here you can move through so i think he might have gotten stuck because we built something else in here let's have a look okay so you got flags going this way but you can't go that way and this is free here as well yep yeah. okay so i guess you have glitched out so unfortunately you are gonna have to go as well all right there we go now let's add one more train in here yeah i think technically we don't need that many trains but it kind of looks cool to see them what was that did he just try and turn right changed his mind and then turned went straight ahead uh let's have a look Okay, I have to look at this later in the editing, but it did seem he was struggling a little bit over there. Okay, anyways, we got, yeah, we got three trains right now, and I don't think we need that many. I do like seeing those tracks being used quite busy. I think what would be cool as well, it depends where the mod and how it's going to be developed. But if we could have perhaps slightly different trains, so let's say not to go any... Not to go too crazy into this, but maybe a, a small one and a bigger one that's slightly more, um, I guess, higher capacity. And uh, I think I'll probably use, yeah, just the small ones. So the 
the area would look a little bit more more busy at all times and and yeah definitely very excited to see how this mod is gonna go because i can just imagine that we are gonna get like a coal mine as well uh, or maybe like a charcoal kill instead and turning those logs into into coal which will be used for the for the fuel for the trains and yeah that's definitely gonna be, gonna be interesting to see where this mod is gonna go but but okay let's jump back into what we are doing here so I believe we should have connected the power up to the batteries already as well, haven't we? Okay, so these are connected, which means this over here as well, but we don't have the the water wheels anymore. But that's okay. I think we're still producing enough power with the engines themselves as well. And since we blocked you in, I don't suppose we can construct you, or can we? No, so that means you are gonna have to go unfortunately all right metal blocks gears and blanks we should still have here another thing we do want to export from here actually is metal okay we're not receiving let's uh turn you to sending and let's try and start taking some of the things off from here so metal no we don't want to send any more logs as well and same with gears okay this should be good. Now, you are receiving logs and metal. Let's have a look. I don't want to have a crossover. Okay, we're sending planks from here. But receiving metal and logs here. Okay, so that might be fine. Nothing, nothing, and sending. Okay, logs and metal was up there. I guess in this one, we could receive... Well, we could take all the gears away, but at the same time, I also don't want to. We could also... Well, this is a bit more interesting route over here. Why don't we start sending? Sending gears. Yep, let's do that. All right, we don't have a lot here just yet, but we will definitely ramp up the production pretty quickly. And with this one here as well, yep, we're just supplying this area into our mine that's the pretty much the only place that uses gears right now all right we got a little sidetracked but power was what we were talking about right yep you've got the gears that should be fine it's going to be constructed any second now we'll give you highest priority as well after that i think it would be nice if you connect it up with the rest of the power all right there we go so now it should be flowing all through right Oh yes, it's 2,000, and let's check below as well, 2,000, 1,600. Okay, so that seems to be connected, which is great. I guess our next step will be trying to connect this power over here and the batteries with the power that we are producing over here. And right now, that seems to be in excess as well, so that's good. Now, you guys still haven't constructed this one here. Pretty sure we do have the blanks, so... Why don't you get those ladders done? Okay, yeah, so power is something we do want to look at. And over here, I think we're... Yeah, I think we're pretty much fine because metal itself, we do have 500 right now. And we can operate another two. Okay, scrap metal itself is fine for right now. But let's uh, turn on another smelter. Oh, we're gonna need a lot more pots, actually. Yeah, that's gonna be our next focus. I mean, we do have two assemblers already running. If we give it some time, of course, it should take us to about, who knows, like, at least 100. I'm pretty sure in the last playthrough we had two assemblers running and we went up to, like, 150 or so. So maybe, maybe we can get it a little bit higher in this one as well. Oh, I was wrong before. We are also consuming gears, of course, in the bot factories as well. So the next step actually is going to expand our factories over here. All right, there we go. So we can have a couple more in these locations. We might just disconnect you for the time being. All right, we'll get them built and then hook it up with some power as well. And with the parts right now, we are actually full, so we don't really need them. But we are going to slowly start to expand, produce some more parts. Most likely need some more storages around here as well. And then I just want to make sure that 
all these little districts that we are going to have. So this is going to be a separate one. Yep. Uh, same with this. I, I, yeah. I do want to say that this is going to be a separate as well. Maybe ex we expand a little bit more towards the top over here. And that way we can still use some trains that transfer the... Yeah, the resources from here. So the gears most likely up to the hill. And in the next episode, I think it will be a good time, as long as we have enough pots, of course. It will be good if we place another mine over here. Yeah, and start sending some more scrap through as well. I mean, again, technically, I don't think we need it yet because we're not using the most efficient recipe that we do have. Which we can change, of course, if we start producing some paper and explosives once again. So why don't we do that in the next episode? And... I'm not sure if we can place it here. I mean, technically, yes, we can place it all in here, but it might be just too crowded. But we'll see. I mean, there's a ton of space over here as well. And and yeah, I think we do have enough areas, enough free zones over here to place a few more lumber mills and gear workshops. But okay, we'll, we'll take it step by step and upgrade it accordingly. I think right now we're pretty good to start turning this into a farming zone instead. And yeah, we just need some more pots. Get the, the treated plank numbers up as well, because right now we're only running one. And that's because we don't have anyone working in this one here. But yeah, that should be enough for this episode. So pretty happy with our triple good station setup over here. And in the future, we'll definitely be seeing this area get a lot more busy with trains going in all directions as well. So thank you so much for joining us in this episode. And I hope to see you again in the next one.